Okay, so um, as I said on Facebook, I had quite some success in adding magnets to uh, 2020 RSM, RS3M, and so this here is a 2022, uh, so it's a super RS3M uh, maglev, and uh, I'm just going to try and do the same thing. So for starters, what I'll do, see we can dig in deep enough to get top off is just take it oh just take the cap off and unscrew one side of it which is I mean you can pull all the pieces out but I just find it's easier to do to um, disassemble a cube this way yeah the maglevs push now what part already so if I just take that layer off in fact let me just preserve that bit in the middle there Oops, come on, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull it apart anyway, so let me just take all the pieces apart here, and, uh, there, isn't it? yeah, so, um, yeah, I'll just take it apart first, so take all these pieces out. So this is the magnet kit that you can get from Amazon and you can see there's five by twos, oh there's a couple of the small ones have come off the end there but anyway, uh, so these are three by ones, these are five by twos and these ones here are four by two. So the four by twos, you want to pull them apart, um, they're the ones that I'm going to actually put into the edges first so I'll just put the others off to one side because they're kind of annoying how um, attractive they are. So if I just take an edge piece like this, whoops, and pull it apart. Um, if we look in here, you can see there's one existing magnet, and then the other half there is the other magnet. Now I don't know if you can see that on this camera, but they're actually quite small. And so compared to these, just take one of these off the end of the pile. Oops, put that one side. So that compared to that is quite a trade up. So talking about putting now if you just put this in here near there, you'll see that you don't have to do anything. The attraction of it automatically pulls it into the right place and it's just gonna hold there. And similarly for this other half, if I take another one off the pile. And equally, there is the edge magnet. So if I just let this go and then put that back together again, and that is one piece done. So the thing to do is don't get mixed up. So put that off to one side. So I'll just take the corners out of here just to avoid uh, so confusion. So there's a corner. There's a corner. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One of these corners. That's a corner. Yeah, eleven, because I've already done that one. So there's me eleven um, edges still to do, and it's just a case, and you'll see it totally damages your nails trying to do this. But you've got to try and get your nail. Yeah, this one would be a pain to get apart. Oh, it's just starting to open. There we are, got it. Um, so, there's another one. Oops, a daddy. I'll be a little purple bit of out. So, uh, let's get another one off the pile. And pop that in there, just let go. It snaps into place. And another one. Oh! And there's my cat in the background. Um, he's just woken up. So let's make sure this goes back in again. And this. And so we pop that back together again. And that's the second one now. So I'm going to put that on a pile over there. So I'm not going to continue to show this on the video. Um, 
there's a quite a few pieces to be done here. It's just a case of um, trying to prime them apart. Oops. And once you get your fingernail in there, you can just, <laughs> I say you can just pull it apart. It's, um, it's been a bit of a pain to get open. Yeah. Right, we're off. I'm sure there's probably a clever way for doing that, but uh, if there is, I don't know what it is yet. So, I'll take another one off and pop that in there. And another one. This will do it for the edges. This goes in the other half. There we go. And then pop it back together again. That's the third one done. Right, I'll just switch to doing corners. Um, so what I'm going to do with the corners, uh, those we're using 4x2s, I've actually got a load of these um, 3x1s in the pile here, so there's 3x1s. Ooh, do you see that one's already, oh it's the screwdriver, yeah, you can't see it in the picture. There are. <laughs> you see this, the attraction here is quite strong, so I'll just try and pull those off and stick that in there. Um, right, so here comes a corner. And these, because there's three faces and it's three pieces all pushed together, trying to open these is actually, oh, this one's actually turned out to be easier. So you just pull one face off like that and you can see there's a magnet in there, but it's actually, well, the space above it for putting in another magnet is actually quite small and equally there's another one in there in the blue piece and you can't see it at the moment I'm not going to take it apart just yet because I want to keep the order of these sides correct. So what I'm going to do is just from my... Uh, oh, <laughs> you got to love magnets. So I'm just going to take a, a 3 by one off that, that um, collection of magnets there and just let it go inside there. Now, in this one, it's not even gone on the back side, but I mean, it's in roughly the right place, and I found that that's all it actually needs. So, if I try and take another one off the pile here and drop that onto the orange one, oops, that one there needs to go around there. Just do that with that one as well. Oh, cool. Right. Uh, and so what I'll do is, I won't even do the white one yet, I'll start to put the orange back again. So you can see there's a curved bit here which goes around this stem, so we just put that down towards the bottom. And there's also a blade here that goes into a slot here, so you've just got to line that up with the slot and then start to push it back. And when that's starting to go back, you can then start considering taking the white face off. And so I'm just going to try and take that off there. Uh, there we go, so that's off, and then take another one of these off the pile, and pop that into the white one, just maybe push it back a bit, there. and then finally push this back together, and again, curve bit goes around this stem, and this slot here takes this blade bit here, and just got to push that into the slot and push it back together again and that's a corner done and now I'm going to stop because I'm going to do that for all the rest of the pieces okay we're back and I've just got a couple more left to do so what I found is uh, using the knife blade of a fairly sharp pen knife uh, is quite a good way to to start the process of opening the thing. Um, one thing I've also noticed is um, these purple pieces, they've got a ridge. So what you need to do in case it falls out is remember which colour, well in my case I'm remembering which is on the right. So white on the right just in case anything falls apart here. And that's a little liner. So it's got lots of 3x1s and only a few 4x2s left so just take one off there pop him in there and you see once again it just pulls it into place and this is the last one for this piece so just let go and 
and it goes. Pop this piece back together again. can see there we are and that's back together and finally I stand just this one so see can I get a part of my nail no I can't so I'm just going to start it with this I can So ridge green on the right and just put one of those in there and one of these into there. And that's all the edges done. So I've just got the corners to go now. At which point I'm going to stop recording again and just get on with it. Okay, and then I just came back for the very last corner piece and uh, just to show that if you just use a knife like this it's actually quite quick to get them to open up. Um, just try and pull this green sign off. <laughs> Reluctant. There it is. Um, yeah, so once again, just to reiterate, there's a magnet in there and one in there and there's one right inside the red piece that we can't see yet. So just doing the green and the white one here. Again, I'm just doing three by ones, so I just take one more magnet off the pile and just pop it into this green piece and let go. It's gone slightly askew, so I'm just going to push it around so it's just on top there, see. Uh, the attraction is just holding that, there's no, it's not going to come out, um, so I'll just leave that as it is, and equally take another one off the pile here, um, if I can get one off, there we are. and this is just going to go on the white one, just push it, it drops into place, again it needs to just go slightly over the top, if I just push it out with my finger, there it is, it's gone sort of slightly on top of it, so I can put the green and the white back together and again there's a blade here, there's a blade here and there's a um, hole in the middle which that purple piece is going to go into so if you just put a blade in one slot this blade into that slot and push together it just goes together like that I don't want it to go completely together because I still want to take the red one off there it is so it's just, this will be my very last magnet so the pile, three by one, and just drop it in as always. Oop, there it goes, not quite, so just push it over up over the top here and get it to go. Damn it. There we are. Right, finally, that one's sort of in place, and then again, this blade, and this blade going to slip into the slots, push together, it's a lovely construction this thing, and that's all the pieces done, so I've got my complete kit of parts, and they've all got the magnets in them now, um, so now I've just got to put it back together, um, I'm just going to contemplate this, so I'm just going to stop videoing while I think about how it goes together. Okay, so um, I've just sorted out. What I'm going to do is um, I've started by, I took the white top off, so the, the bottom face effectively is yellow here. So what I've done is found all the pieces that have got yellow on them. Um, so there's obviously four corners and four edges, yeah, and then the middle, which makes the nine pieces. So let's start with an edge piece. Uh, let's go for the yellow-red. And what I'm going to do is um, just slot that in, hold on, get it right way around, where it would go. So that piece would go between yellow and red. So now I want to find the corner to match that. Uh, let's find 
little piece that's not uh, red. So yellow and red in the corner. So if I push that into, hold on, if I get this right, it's going to be like, no, it's this one over here. Sorry. It's this piece here. So I want yellow up, I want green facing that way. Okay, so that's kind of right, red, green, yellow. So I want the corner over here, which is going to be the red, yellow, blue corner. So it's going to have red outwards. So it's going to go in like this. Whoa. And if I pull things back together, that should go. Whoa. If I, big, hello, cat. Um, I can just get this thing. Yes, dumpling. Sorry, dumpling the cat. in place there we are finally the magnets start to hold it um, so now I just need to start looking for uh, blue yellow center so that's that one just stick it in oh shit sorry pardon the French that would be... yeah that goes in there like that now I want the green yellow edge which is that one and that's going to go in the pair and get it to go in like that and then I want the green yellow orange corner so I want yellow up, green that way put that in there like that I'm sure there's a better way to do this but um, at least it seems to sort of work right and I want a little piece like that which is going to have yellow up something like that go on get in there we and one last corner right and so that needs yellow up it's going to go in like that there we are oh blow what a challenge that was right so I can start to look at these pieces here. So I want an edge which is blue and orange, which is that one. Sorry, that's white on top, that's a corner. So try again, blue and orange, there it is. Um, so that's, yeah. So I want to put that into there. Um, green and orange is that one there. And green. And red is that one there. Uh, that one around. And this is where I find I may have made an error. I'm not sure if all those pieces are symmetrical, but we'll find out in a minute. Um, and then finally, blue and red goes in there. Right. And so finally, I want to start building the top face. So I want the I want it to be white on top, that's going to be blue and orange, so it's going to be orange down there, so it goes like that. Uh, so blue and white is there. Um, there's the corner, so that's the blue, red and white corner, and so that needs white up, blue out that way, like that. This has got to be uh, red and white, so that's this piece here, white up, oops, Daisy. and that's going to go in there like that, and this is the green, red and white corner, white up, red facing that way, so that goes in there like that, then this is the, oops, don't do that, uh, this is the green and white, so you want green down, white up, like that, then I want to put this corner in, which is the white up, green that way, 
Okay, do that. And finally, this edge piece goes, if I just don't know, it should go in like that. And I can take the center piece here and pop it in. get this screw at the right depth you can just take another cap off if you feel it you can feel it's kind of exactly level with the surrounding plastic so this I can feel it, it's too high so just by doing finger touch I know that is still too high yeah that's almost it maybe that right stick that on there with me white cap there it is Oops, stick the green cap on, stick the white cap on, and yay, we have a cube. Oh wow, <laughs> I can feel these magnets. Yeah, that is, uh, th those magnets, hold on, yeah. Actually, this isn't as quite as good as the uh, 2020, uh, which really snaps, but I can definitely feel the, the, the attraction. Yeah, that is definitely working. Okay, I think we'll call that job done because I'm quite pleased with that. I think I'll have to have a play with it in a minute, but um, yeah, I think that's everything. So there you are. Hi, and just back for one last thing. Um, this at the moment is far too loose, uh, and the reason for that is that before I started I actually loosened all the tensions to the absolute minimum but it's clearly that's too loose so I'm going to use the old tool here um, and if I just go all the way around till it clicks there it is so it was at that position so if I dial in maybe three two three that should do it in fact I'll leave the caps off so I know which ones I've done so let's just stick this on here find the slot and it goes there it is and then one two three and this one. And find two oh, go on oh, I didn't find the um there it is one just go all the way around till it goes big click and then one two three you might as well see me doing all almost there. Um, all the way around to the big click and then one, two, three. So we've done all of those. Let's see that's all. all the way around to the big click and then one, two, three. And there's just one to go. See how In fact, you can see that's much tighter. So, in fact, three may be too tight. Oh, yeah, this, this definitely has got much more magnetic snap to it than it had. Yes, yeah, it's, it's maybe just a little bit on the tight side. Whoa, oh, yeah, it got stuck there. Um, yeah, I'll have to think about that. I might have to loosen it a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's me done.